most of the employers in this area are looking for flux cord arc welding. Uh, flux cord arc welding can be done with thinner materials as well as heavy plate thicker materials. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Well, I would say flux core arc welding would be number one, and number two would be gas metal arc welding, also known as MIG. So if you have a lot of job shops, a lot of fab shop, fabrication shops around here, um, it gives the employer and it gives the welder an opportunity to mass produce uh, weldments you know, relatively quickly. There are many people that are really gifted and really talented in the welding field, but when it comes to learning the theory behind what they do or why they're doing it, it's absolutely not there. I mean, it wasn't taught to them, it wasn't shown to them, it wasn't told to them, so they're sort of lost with that. But what we're trying to do is put students into the workforce that bring all of those assets with them. What brought you to this program? Uh, I've been interested in it. Um, a, f a friend at work, who I took the class uh, years ago, a few years ago, and so I, f I figured I might as well give it a try, get a new career. Now, what career did you have before you came here? So I've been working at um, Walmart you know, for the last few years. Why welding? Uh, they said it was a good uh, trade to get into. I know there's always need for welders. What got you interested in welding? Well, originally I was going to, I was going to go into the Air Force for um, welding, but um, that didn't really work out because my peanut allergy, so they stopped my processing. But um, my mom actually works for the Borman Township, and uh, her union actually is helping me pay for this school right now, so I don't have any debt or anything. I learned many things, um, like uh, undercut, overfill, um, cover pass, filler pass, all that, and uh, how hot I should have my settings for what metal I have to weld, and yeah, just uh, different kinds of uh, joints, um, welding processes. I, I just learned MIG the other day, so yeah, I learned a lot. It's really challenging, but it's really fun. One of the main things that we seek to do here is develop our students and make sure our students leave here with a work ethic. A lot of times, believe it or not, students will come here and they don't even have a clue as to what a work ethic consists of. Uh, I, as the instructor, I firmly believe in teaching by example. I work uh, very long, extensive hours here at Eastern Gateway. In my tenure here since 2016, I've never missed a day, I've never been late, and I've never used one second of vacation. Despite the fact that I really had a severe um, ankle injury in 2019. I still hobbled in for, to work every day. Um, so develop a work ethic with them and certainly uh, get them where they have a viable uh, skill set. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.